break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Teleferro. Please make sure you're following your boy on Instagram at it's Mr. Teleferro. My goal remains 10,000 followers. We will get there as soon as possible. NBA Young Boy documentary dropping tomorrow. So I'm seeing something I've never seen from Young Thug ever in his rap career. And for the people that I know that know Young Thug, they tell me this is who he is behind the scenes anyway. He just don't like doing it on camera for social media. But they say Young Thug will pop his ish in a heartbeat. And I've been told over the years that Young Thug really don't like all those gay jokes that people be making about him, those homosexual jokes about him. But he feels like he shouldn't have to address it online. That's just really not what he about. But trust and believe, behind the scenes, he's always felt the way of how he's been clowned on the internet by fans for years of being the quote-unquote rapper who dresses gay. I, Young Thug says he's a straight male. And until he claims to be different, Young Thug's a straight male. We've talked about it on my platform. I've said you, to you guys, Young Thug has been one of the most interesting artists I've ever had the privilege of covering. And to me... Today was the most I've ever seen Young Thug give it up emotionally, right? So French Montana, again, Young Thug, French Montana beefing online, seemingly over a chick. I'll do another video on that later. But uh, one thing that French Montana said about Young Thug that really sent him over the edge was French Montana posted uh, this picture that we've all believed to be Young Thug. I've used this picture in articles that I've did and, and videos that I've ran on Young Thug in the past. And I thought this was Young Thug. So Fred said had to wear the skirt to tuck that scat. Lineup have changed Young Thug versus French Montana hits. Since you want to jump in some shit that had nothing to do with you. Said that's really you up there. That's a fact. All right. Now, uh, Young Thug responded to this in a way that I've never seen Young Thug respond to anything about him on the internet. Check it out. On video, you sit on your pool in front of you, in, in your pool. Yeah, I got pool, nigga. Man, motherfucker live on sloths in the L.A. with a pool. You ain't got them doing that, nigga. Show me a pool inside the ocean. Like, what, you show me a pool. Nigga, the smallest house in L.A. got a pool. Fuck. Right, nigga, add your spot out right now. You gonna put it on Instagram, fuck ass, nigga. <laughs> I bet your bitch ass put it on Instagram, nigga. Add your house out. <laughs> on God. You blocked from your page, pussy ass. I'm, your, I'm, I'm, following your, I'm on your pussy ass from my fake page, bitch. Can't <laughs> 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 about to black me, pussy. I still see it. You supposed to pick, that ain't me on that picture lane, green ass nigga. The whole world been thinking that too, man. I'm finna say, so gonna say something about that, man. That ain't me with that ugly ass skirt on that, with that hat. Nigga, oh, I don't want bullshit like that, nigga. Look, I'm putting this out. Yeah, so for everyone that's been asking questions or making jokes about Young Thug in this skirt, it's not him. According to Young Thug, this has never been him. So we didn't ran with this picture that somebody didn't post it or edit it because it does look like him. And I thought it was him. I apologize to Young Thug in his camp. I posted this picture in stories a couple times. Thug said it's not even him. He said this this has never been him. This ain't him. This is a fake picture that someone on the internet has made and tied to my name. It ain't even me saying I don't even dress like that. Uh, the way Fridge Montana responded was by posting another picture. And I do believe this one is Young Thug. But hell, I don't even know if this one is Young Thug anymore. He posted another picture. And, and, and Fridge Montana, to Montana said, this is not you either. This shit cray cray. Put that beard up and bring your best 20 songs. That picture does look a little wild. It looks like a man wearing lipstick. Um, I don't know if that one's Young Thug either. He might deny and say that was not him as well either. But y'all let me know. In the comment box below, we've kind of ran with these pictures. Because the, the, the Hooters one is Young Thug for sure. Because that's in a music video. The Hooters one definitely is Young Thug. But according to Thug, one of those pictures that we've kind of associated with him over the years, he claimed that's not even him. Is it him? Is he lying? Does he not want to uh, claim that picture looking back in, in retrospect, not thinking that that was a, a, a pleasing image of self? Y'all let me know in the comment box below. Young Thug versus French Montana had this thing rocking on the internet earlier today. I'm out. Though he signed to Atlantic Records music label, he's not promoted as much as some of the label's other premier acts like Cardi B, Bruno Mars, or Ed Sheeran. He can't sell out stadiums like Beyonce, Taylor Swift, or Jennifer Lopez yet. He's not even necessarily associated with lyricism like some of the other top rappers in the game like a Drake, J. Cole, or Kendrick Lamar. He doesn't have the sweat equity, the years in the game, like some of the street rappers, his peers like Gucci Mane, Kevin Gates, 
or Boosie Bad at? In early age, Kentrell Gunn, or the artist you know as NBA Youngboy, was faced with different obstacles that shaped him to who he is today. Ever notice the three deep scars on Garden's forehead? 